Welcome back, it's Zion from Uke On Demand, and this week we're teaching How Deep Is Your Love? We're going to go over the first bar in this video, but you can get the full lesson and our low G and high G arrangements at ukeondemand.com. What you see on the screen now is our low G arrangement, and to play this first bar, just so you can hear how it goes, will sound like this. And to do that little section, we're going to start by picking the C string. Then first fret of E to third fret of E. Then we're going to go into our first chord, and that's going to be an F chord. We're going to keep our index finger on the first fret of E there and have our middle finger on the second fret of G. And there's a very, there are very small differences between the low G and high G arrangements. They're very identical. So if you happen to have a high G ukulele, you can still follow along with this tutorial. So once we strum, then we pick the open A string, leaving the chord where it is, we pick open A, and then the E string. That's why we leave our, co our chord there, because our index was already taking care of that note. Then we're going to move into a C5. And a C5 is just going to be the ring finger on the third fret of the E. And we're going to strum the top three strings only, the G, C, and E. We're not going to play the A string at all. Just like that. Once we strum the C5, then we're going to pick the A string by itself. And then here, to close out this first sentence, we're going to pick, we're going to have our index finger back on the first fret of E, and the middle finger will come to the second fret of C. And we're going to, again, just strum the top three strings, not the A string. Let's go back to the beginning of this bar and play this first, just this first sentence together very slowly. Now you see we've got four more notes on this bar. And to do that, we're just going to pick the second fret of E to third fret E, open A, and then we're going to play a B flat. And I'll show you if you find B flat a little bit difficult to play, I'll show you a way to simplify it in just a second. But a normal B flat, you're just going to have your index finger barring the first fret of the A string and E string, middle finger will be on the second fret of C, and ring finger will be on the third fret of the G. Now, oftentimes, my students will have a little bit of trouble getting into a B-flat chord quickly, and so there are some ways to make it easier on yourself. Now, it's best when possible to play the entire chord, because that will make the arrangement sound better and more full in general, but if you need to simplify it down, you can simply start removing strings. So we can, starting from the G string, working our way down to A. So what I mean by that is, if B flat is difficult, you can take your ring finger off the G string, and when you strum this chord, don't play the G string at all. Start from the C string and strum down. And that's still a B flat. We're still hitting all of our needed notes, the D, the F, and the B flat to make our normal B flat chord. And this position is going to be a lot easier because you only have to deal with two fingers instead of three. So as long as you don't play the G string, which would change the chord, and start from the C string and strum down, you'll be totally fine. And even if that was too difficult for you, you could just take away the C string and just pick the first fret of a and E together. And so there are a lot of ways to simplify it, but the more you do, the smaller the chord will sound, and it won't make the arrangement sound quite so full. But if you need to, in a pinch, it's totally fine to use. And that's it for this video, but you can get the full tutorial and all the tabs at ukeondemand.com. And make sure to subscribe below so you don't miss our upcoming fingerstyle songs. We'll see you next time.